The TI-2024 compendium doesn't have much, but the main item people are interested in is the new Versus screen. This clip was posted by Colorneck Play on YouTube, the link to their channel is in the description. The new Versus screen says it uses effigies, which are those old customization items that replace your buildings in your base with custom statues that you get to design. This patch's first feature was a change to how hero effigies work. Before this patch, you could create an effigy of whatever you wanted and equip it permanently for any game you play, or make a couple and set them to shuffle between games. This was cool because these statues could get commendations which you could collect over time, and importantly, these effigies cost you money to create. So having one or two particularly cool ones was the way to go. Now with this upgraded feature, you can only equip a custom effigy on the specific hero that your effigy is of. This means your previous effigies are 124 times less useful. And if you want one that is not just the default pose for every hero, you need to buy 125 of them instead of just one. This change fucking sucks, and it's not an upgrade in any way. People are getting confused because you're given a default effigy for free for every hero, but this doesn't matter. The point of effigies was customization. Now that has been massively cut down. The versus screen is said to show effigies, but it doesn't actually show the effigy you have equipped. It just shows what a default effigy of the hero you're playing looks like. So from that point of view, the versus screen doesn't even do what it says it does either. If you have a cool effigy that you've owned for a long time, like this for example, you can now only use it in games that you are playing Hoodwink. For every other game, you have to use a default effigy of the hero you're playing. This is not an upgrade, this is a downgrade, and it fucking sucks. All of the prices of effigies have gone through the roof because you need to buy so many more if you want to take advantage of this feature that's been in the game for years. The only other interesting thing in this compendium is the HUD skin, um, so here that is. It's okay, but it's also $70 to unlock, so make of that what you will. The only other interesting feature are the different teleport effects that you can get from the compendium. There are three levels of these. It's not clear whether or not they're permanent. This teleport clip is from Michael Sucks, whose link is also in the description. When I've spoken to other people about this, they seem to be confused about this change, so if you have an opinion, let me know. If you like the video, leave a like, and if you want to see more, please subscribe.